25,000 people a day walk across the railway here, so you don't have to watch for long to spot people racing the falling barriers. This is the highest risk level crossing in the region. The warning signs are clear, and for people in a hurry, there's a bridge. The crossing is controlled by CCTV cameras, and there's plenty of footage like this. It's monitored by a signalman 60 miles away in Basingstoke. Not an easy task. Network Rail would be more than happy to close it given the, the, the high risk of the crossing. Uh, however, it would not be feasible without um, an access for all footbridge. It would involve compulsory purchase and, and a huge town redevelopment. Gerald Lashmar works in the high street. Last week, she was caught between closed barriers, along with many others. The metal piece of the gate hit me on the back of the neck. I carried on through and looked back and a lady with a push chair was stuck on the, the, the really wide part of the gate and some hero dragged her out. Recent incidents here include people deliberately lifting the barriers when they're down, drunks playing chicken with the trains and a motorised wheelchair which got stuck on the tracks. It's our highest area of risk on the railway because it's an area that we have some control over but not 100% control. We still rely on members of the public to, uh, to listen to warnings, to understand the risks and to take them seriously. Network Rail has closed 800 crossings in five years and plans to close 500 more. But here Network Rail says there's little more it can do. People obey red traffic lights it says. So why don't they obey the red lights at level crossings? Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Paul.